Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Busi Selesho and I'm an international accredited money coach. Thank you for joining me again. And remember to click on the subscribe button below and make sure that you click on the notification bell so that you know when new videos like this one get loaded. So today we are talking about something very important. Uh, we are talking about feminine energy. The feminine energy is one energy that is so important in all our lives. You could be male or female. It is one energy you do need to have in your life. Set up the correct way. But obviously for us women, it is more important to connect with it. It is more important to honor it. It's more important to take care of it. So i have um had a lot of coaching sessions with clients a lot of women that came to me and they have all sorts of problems with money you know starting a business not being able to make the income you want to make having a job where you're not getting the right promotions having you know a business where you are not finding the comfort that you want you, you work so hard you do a lot but you're not getting what you deserve you are not appreciated the way you want to be appreciated people just don't think you you, you know everybody thinks you are a rock you, you 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 just can't do whatever but um when you have your feminine energy correct, you are the person that people will listen to. You become the person that people will want to help. You become the person where people respect and want to hear from and want to do what you say and, and, and want to please you, want to look good in your eyes, want to uh, just like, you know, make you feel comfortable. I mean, we all need this in our lives. I mean, uh, a lot of women that uh, have depression, they have depression because of how they make money. Their jobs are depressing them, their businesses are depressing them and all sorts of other things in life. But when you have the feminine energy and you take care, take care of it, you are going to find yourself having no problem whatsoever around being depressed because you are not given enough chances you are not given enough opportunities you're not given what you deserve you're not paid what you deserve clients are not asking for discounts clients are actually buying from you and honoring what you're doing so but today i wanted us to talk with about something even more uh, i think important um a lot of studies have said that um single women have more money than married women now, I know this. When I said more money, I just say that I'm, I'm just saying a little bit uh, more financially better than uh, single women, more financially better than married women. Now, the world statistics says only 1% of women retire financially free. So again, we still have that to fix because that's not right. It can't be correct. And... Um, most men retire financially okay okay obviously um that it has to be put in a certain context which um, we're not talking about that today but what i want us to look at today is the fact that married women are normally less moneyed than single women single guys are less moneyed than married men so that equation tells you something when a guy is single he's got less money once he's married he's got more money um a lady as in her own money a personal money when she's single she's got more when she's married she normally has less but then obviously this is just like out of a million people that's what happens but it doesn't mean that um married women don't have money or anything like that but it's just it proves a certain point, which is the point that I want us to discuss today. Now, why I'm even doing this video is because a lot of um, uh, married women, when they come to me and we, I, I, I help them clear their energy, I help them find their money issues, I help them heal their money story, we always find that they have a lot of limiting beliefs around the fact that they are married. <laughs> so all sorts of issues come up because um, they are married. And I, I'm, I'm going to probably give you a few examples and um, so that we can also talk about that because, I mean, 
you find that this is an amazing woman that knows so much that can do so much but she is not making the money she is totally totally not performing at her peak because she is married sometimes she's trying to play small because she doesn't want to make her husband feel uh, small sometimes she is not doing what she is all about because she believes that the man must do everything so there, there's so many blockages around this and and i have seen that when a woman clears this up it just changes a lot of things in her life so now a lot of also um i mean i wrote a book money and black people um if, uh, some uh, uh, uh years ago two three years ago it became a best international seller and there i talk about the fact that what is wrong with men and money what is wrong with women and money and one of the things that i talk about in terms of a man is that normally guys have been taught that it is if a guy is broke and a, a woman loves him he feels that finally somebody actually loves me for who i am not for my money on the other hand you find that a lady is totally self-sabotaging herself and not getting the things she wants in life not getting going and getting the the house she wants not going and getting all these things that she wants in life because she's waiting to be married first before she can do stuff so those are the things and those are the issues and i'm gonna do more videos around this issue because it's it's it, 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 not the relationships that we have with the people that we love the most which is our partners gets affected so much by money 90 percent of marriages break because of money i don't like um i don't know how to explain to this how much money affects marriages how many how much money affects relationships so i'm going to be doing a lot of talks in my on my youtube channel obviously around this area of relationships and money and click on the subscribe button click on the subscribe button so that you can see more of these talks and maybe they can help you with your relationship maybe they can help you with your marriage maybe they can help you with um finding a new relationship or getting married or all of that so click on the subscribe button and click on the share button so that other people can also find this information so now today i want to just us to focus on that fact that why is it that single men don't have enough well a lot of money <laughs> as married men does so what normally happens is this when a guy i mean the bible says that it's not good for a man to be alone now that the bible also doesn't say that it's not good for a woman to be alone the thing is that women can be alone but men is not good for them to be alone because men cannot create women have the feminine energy in that much they have actually a whole womb that presents that creation power so a man normally does better when he's with a woman because that woman has that creation power but then the thing is this when um, a, a man goes looking for a woman he's looking for a helper and once the helper comes in she always takes over like we all have had the saying that uh, behind every successful man is a woman and you've never had a saying say behind every successful woman is a man there's a whole lot of stuff behind a successful woman but nobody's not a man so that just tells you in so many ways why men that are married are better off financially they, they get the help god created them a whole help for them to be able to have money <laughs> and then um she comes through and normally when a man, a man get married a whole lot of things change in his life he doesn't have so many decisions to make anymore you know like literally just things change and they change for the better most of the times and oh i i, I really almost want to say all the times <laughs> all the time but this is the reason why a man needs that feminine energy now once they are married this woman takes over in terms of creation power now she does not provide the money but she multiplies the money so what will happen is that a guy will have a certain amount of money and the woman will say no no no, no we can't stay in such an area and the guy will be like oh no man you know this is this is an okay area i've been here you know it's it's fine it's not that bad she'll be like no 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 this is not the area and she will keep 
planting that seed in his head, planting that seed. And then one day you'll be like, no, man, actually I can afford the next area. I thought I won't, I won't be able to afford it. I thought my job was not okay. And then he finds like, I think I'll afford it. And guess what? The moment he does that, because she's praying, she's standing in the gap for him. She's putting the ideas in his head. He gets an increase at work and he goes and affords the next area and they move to the next area. So then the next thing she's like, oh no, the car we're driving. Mm. The car we're driving is not the one, you know. I think this car is not for us. It's not for, you know, our life, no. We need another car. And he's like, no, man. This car is okay. This car is still running well and this and this and this. And then she continues putting the idea in his head, making him understand that he needs to level up, making him understand that there's a next level to life. He, all of a sudden, he finally believes it. And then all of a sudden he gets a new job that is allowing him to afford the car. Then they get the car. So this guy, if he stayed alone, he could have stayed there all his life and never seen any problem with it. But then the thing is that when, when, when a woman is in a man's life, she talks on the behalf of God for that guy. So whatever that she speaks, God hears better. Whatever that she says, God hears better. He can actually get God's messages through to him, through this woman, because of the feminine energy. God created the planet on femininity, on feminine energy. God never stood and in the sun and got sweaty while he was creating the earth. God used the weight. God spoke a weight and everything happened. So the woman always is going to speak a word to him. So that is why I'm going to be like, oh my God, my wife is naked, naked. No, your wife is actually doing God's work in your life. Your wife is actually just doing all that God wants her to do, which is speak a word and speak a word. So men who marry and don't listen to their wives, normally they are the broke ones. Because as much as she's, sometimes she says crazy stuff, I mean, I know I say crazy stuff to my husband all the time. And sometimes he doesn't like stuff I say to him. And sometimes it gets, you know, like offended and stuff. But like, I know I don't say all the amazing things all the time. <laughs> but I can tell you that most of the things that I've said to him have leveled him up. And I know that. And I had to do that even when it was uncomfortable for me and even him. But guess what? We did level up. We did. So um, men who don't listen to their wives are normally the broke ones. But then the thing is that there is this woman. She comes in. She takes on her story. Her, her, her part of being the feminine one and if this woman doesn't honor her feminine energy normally what happens is that she wants to make the things happen so she's the one who's gonna go and look for everything she's gonna be the one who's going to do most of the things like she's gonna be the one paying the bond she's gonna be the one that is a woman that doesn't honor her feminine energy she then sucks energy out of this man this man does not know what to do anymore because now he is with the man so you are not helping your relationship you are not helping your marriage you're not helping that set up if you are not being a woman in that relationship, you need to be a woman because that man is took you for the purpose that you are a woman. You wouldn't want to go and get another man because upon a bra, we are here, bra. So, you know, so as much as we as uh, women, we want to be taken care of, we want to be taken care of as like eggs. So, a, 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 a woman that is not feminine, the man does not know how to do with her. He can't open the water for her he can't bring her flowers he can't take her out to eat he can't buy her a beautiful dress because guess what i can do it i i, I know this I'm, 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 I'm a rock uh, i can do everything you don't have to do these things for me i'm a man myself so a lot of women that come through my workshops have been living the man life have been men in their in their marriages and then it takes the romance away it takes the love away because then it's just two men living in that house if you are being a man in your relationship if you are being a man in your house you cannot bless your husband you cannot bless your partner you cannot make you cannot do your job in making this family grow 
But then if you have a man who doesn't understand also the spirituality, he will not be able to listen to you. He will not be able to treat you as a feminine a being so that your femininity can then shine in his life. I mean, men with beautiful wives are honored. Men with beautiful wives, when when people say, where's your wife? And you say, there is she is, they already charged you as a man. I mean, I know men who have said, I've gotten the best uh, project the best business deal just before I just because I brought my wife and she looked amazing and people respect men with beautiful women apparently like the only thing that a man can do to arrive in life that he can really do is, is, is have a beautiful wife so if you are not fixing your wife to be that beauty to be that feminine guess what you're missing out on your blessing because when you treat her as a feminine being guess what she just keeps multiplying whatever that you have but she does not multiply it by bringing you money she does not do that she will do that by bringing you the weight she will do that by praying for you. She will do that by standing the gap for you. She will do that by giving you the ideas. She will do that by just being there and making sure that you get it right. So, and this is important for both men and women to understand your position. Understand your position because God gave us these positions for a reason. And God made us that if you are in your position, you're not going to suffer. If you are in your position, you don't have to work hard. If you are in your position, if you are a man in your position and you, you honor that femininity that is in your life and you honor your masculinity, things will go well and quick and easy. If you are a woman and you're honoring your, your, your femininity and you honor the masculine that God gave you, things will work quick and fast and easily. So we all have have that job to fix our femininity if you're a woman to fix your masculinity if you're a man a man that says to a woman what do you bring to the table that man is way 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 back there the woman brings the table plus you she does not you do not ask her what you bring to the table she brought you the table the animal table she's the one who brought it so you asking her what do you bring to the table what do you mean so a guy that asks a woman what to bring to the table, he has no idea. A guy that asks a woman to go 50-50 with him, he has no idea what's going on here. But then again, a woman that says, oh, well, I, mean, I, 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 I can do this. I can do this. And she wants to go out there and, 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 and put her sleeves up and physically fight for the money, physically make the money. And she feels good that she's physically making the money. She does not know. She does not know what her power is. Because even at work, let's say you are a single woman. You're going at work. You're not supposed to get at work and do crazy things to prove that you are the right one. You just have to get there, bring your feminine energy, and people will listen to you. People will take your ideas. People will do your ideas. Will do them as how you want your ideas to be done. They will implement and you will be the one who gets the rewards. Because you are bringing your femininity. People will want to support your ideas. People will want to, to, to put you in positions of power. People will want to do all these things because your femininity says, I am here to care for everybody. I am here to give the warmth to this place. If I'm not here, things are going to fall apart. I'm here to put everything together. I'm here to birth the new level. I'm here to multiply everything that is here. So that woman will never lack anything good. That woman that honors her femininity will never lack anything good because femininity is all about that easiness. It's all about that support. So if you are in a relationship and you're not in your position, things are going to go wrong. But if you are in a position, things are going to go well. But then we have not been taught, especially as a black woman, we've been taught to do all the other things, all the opposite. We're taught being a man. And black men are taught that black women are strong. They can so much take care of you, <laughs> which is God, no. Nobody is here to take care of anybody. Everybody is here to stand in their, in their position and do their job that they are here for. So if you don't honor your femininity, if you don't do what you need to do as a feminine woman to make sure that your home and your livelihood and your happiness and your kids survives, then you do not have an idea what's up. And if you're suffering, it's probably your mistake. 
if you're a man and you hear and you don't understand what you need to be standing up for, you need what you need to be doing, then guess what? You are on the wrong path. You are you just you 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 just um going to suffer a lot. So I'm going to be doing a lot of talks around this. How men can can set up this thing? How women can set up their feminine energy so that it's actually beneficial to you, so that it actually serves you. So that it actually makes a difference in your life. You don't want to go against the flow. You want to go with the flow. So that you do not have to suffer. If, 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 if the stream is going down and you're going up. You're, gonna, it's not gonna, you're not going to even probably get to where you're going. Because it's going to be so hard. So your feminine energy is the way to make you go with the flow. Of where your dreams are supposed to take you. When you are in your feminine energy, you're going to flow very well. You're going to flow very well to exactly where your dreams and goals are. But you have to do the work. You have to do the feminine work to be able to stand in that place and connect with that place. So once a woman is in, in, in that relationship, in that marriage, and she's doing her part, she does not have to have a fat bank account. And I'm not saying that she doesn't have to have money. She must have her money, her own money, by the way. But she is not going to be crazy about how much money I have, how much money I've made. Here, I make more money here in this house da, 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 and all those things. Because she's going to have a man who can make a whole lot. And guess what? That is her money. So she does not have to feel like I must be the one who makes the money so that I know it's my money. No, she makes the money. She knows she makes the money. And she doesn't have to sing about it so when you find women who are singing about the fact that they make the money guess what they they not being in their feminine energy and they have a they, they don't have that fulfillment of knowing that they're in the feminine energy and nobody that does not build that must build the house that doesn't build their relationship that doesn't build their kids that doesn't build anything you're just being a man there's two men in the house and it's a mess so I wanted to explain that. Why is it like that? And uh, why it is, well, I mean, you could say it's unfair, but it's, it's actually fair because everybody wins. <laughs> everybody wins. Um, if um, the home is taken care of, if everybody's happy in the home, if there's enough money in the home, there's not going to be a divorce. There's not going to be drama. We're going to have life problems, but our life problems are going to be the ones that we talk about and they, they run away but the money problems don't they actually bring down the relationship they actually bring down the whole entire family kids get hit stuff happens stuff goes wrong so as much as um the the woman is going to be in charge of leveling up in the family the woman is always going to be in charge of leveling up but she's in charge of leveling up because she can use her weights she can create with her weights so that woman needs to know how to create that woman needs to understand manifestation. That woman needs to know exactly what to do to create because that is her job in that family. The man needs to know how to go get the money because that is his job there. But both of them are to do the work for things to work right. So um, I, I, I have done in the past week a workshop on how to manifest. And that workshop is, is, is good for any men and women, because that is the workshop that teaches you how to do that creation process. But I think this workshop is even more critical for women because it is all about that weight, that weight that you need to put out, that weight that you need to put out in a certain way, in a certain steps, with a certain rituals to make it stand so that it can manifest. So if you if you, you probably did not get to come through to the workshop, the, the, the recording for the workshop is available. So send me an email, busi at busi, busi at .com or pa at busiselesha.com. You will be able to uh, get that recording for that um, manifestation workshop and you'll be able to understand how to do your manifestation process. But now I want to give you a few, st a few things that you can do to step up with your feminine energy before the end of the video i don't want this video to be long but also during the month of august the first of august um this year we're gonna be doing an 
workshop for women just for women only uh it's gonna be for feminine energy how to allow yourself to connect with your feminine energy so if you have not been connecting with your feminine energy if you don't know how to connect with your feminine energy if you don't even know what is feminine energy where you and feminine energy meets up come through to this workshop it's going to be on the 1st of August. It's going to be on Zoom. It's going to be for the whole day. So make sure that you check my Instagram page for details on that workshop. Other than that, you can just also send an email at, to pa at busiselation.com and um, get the details on that workshop that's happening the 1st of August. It's for women. It's for feminine energy. So now, a few things that you could do to use up your feminine energy. The first thing is to allow yourself to think like a woman <laughs> so what do i mean think like a woman now normally we've been taught we've been taught to think in a worry mode and this is something that is creating a whole lot of havoc a whole lot of sicknesses a whole lot of cancer a whole lot of this you're thinking in a worry mode how does a woman think? A woman is always thinking in an excitement mode, in a looking forward to mode. So let me give you a simple example. If you say to a woman, hey, get ready tonight, we're going somewhere. Oh my goodness, she's going to spend a whole entire day in her head, being excited about what's up, what's going to happen, what's going to happen. But she's going to have that spirit of looking forward, that hope spirit. Women have that hope spirit. They have that faith spirit. Somebody said, hey, get ready tonight. And they are already like there. So you and if, if thinking like a woman is you thinking and knowing the place you want to go to. Worrying is looking and knowing what is going to go wrong. So you don't have money for next month's rent, but you have rent money this month. When you're not thinking like a woman, you're going to be thinking about, oh, I'm not going to be able to afford next month. I'm not going to be able to have money for this. I'm not going to be able to have money for that. I'm not going to. You're going to be stressing and thinking about all the things that can go wrong. It is so easy to think about all the things you can go wrong. You wake up in the morning, you're taking a shower, you're already thinking about all the things that are going to go wrong in the meeting. You are already thinking about the traffic that you're going to have. You're already thinking about the, the what, what, that's not going to happen. That's not how women think. Women think in an excitement mode. Women think in a mode that, hmm, I know this is going to happen. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping for this. I am I have faith for that. I know this is going to happen. I know this is going to be like this. Women, in, when you think like a woman, in your head, you are always imagining the best that is going to happen. You are always putting things, you are always doing an imaginary story in your head. Now, for me, I, I mean, I've done this a lot uh, 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 when I was young because I, I never I really got the time to play and do a lot of stuff because of the environment I grew up in. But in my head, all the time, I was in the dream world where I was daydreaming all the time. So that is what you want to use. You want to m create so much energy around your imaginative mind you want your mind to always be imagining and you can't imagine bad things you are going to be imagining good things you're gonna the more you imagine the more you're gonna get excited i mean even it's been said that you can't just um start having sex with a woman two seconds before you want to have sex with her you need to put it in her head at 8 a.m because guess what by the time it's 5 p.m she would have imagined everything she would now be ready so that is how a woman thinks. That's how a woman mind is created. So use that power because that power is how creation happens. That is how you get your car. That's how you get your house. By keep on imagining it and imagining it the correct way. So imagine, imagine that CEO position. Imagine that salary increase. Imagine that bonus. Imagine that um, spouse. Imagine that those kids. Imagine your kids going to varsity because you have enough money. Imagine all of this. Think like a woman. <laughs> literally just think like a woman when you find yourself worrying remember think like a woman a woman does not worry a woman creates in her head in an imaginative way she does not worry once you find yourself worrying is there something wrong with you you are being in an masculine energy and you shouldn't be there men are taught 
to worry because their masculine energy is about solving. Every time you tell a man a problem, he gives you a solution. That is why it's good for them to worry. Well, not in a crazy stressful way, but it's good for them to do that because their masculine energy is all about solving things. But for us, it's not like that. We can sit with a problem and we can worry until we die. And it's not right. <laughs> so don't do it. So think like a woman. That's the first thing. Number two is that express yourself like a woman. Stop getting into a room and looking for the chair and wiping the chair for yourself. Get into a room. Stand for somebody to offer you a chair. Express yourself like a woman. Do not be trying to do your groceries like they like I, I can do this I can do that no allow people to serve you a woman is all about that person that uh, you are fragile physically duh you why do you think men have so much muscles why do you think men are physically stronger than us because we are physically fragile we are spiritually giants but we definitely physically not so amazing <laughs> We just look good. We just really look good. We can do that well. But other than that, mm -mm. express yourself like a woman. So people will treat you like a woman if you treat yourself like one. But if you're like, mm, me, I can build this house all by myself. Leave it. I'll build it. Guess what? They will leave you to build it. So you want to express yourself as a woman. You want to start feeling it in you that you are a woman. You want to feel it in your bones that I am worthy to be a woman. I am a woman. I need to be taken care of. Life takes care of me. I am supported. Life supports me. So allow yourself that. How you treat you, people will treat you the same. If you are saying, I want to be the one that does everything, people will let you do everything. Then don't, don't complain. Don't complain. Because they are letting you do everything because you wanted to do everything. So... Express yourself as a woman. Okay. So, and then the last thing, what you want to do is you want to see yourself as an amazing, powerful, feminine energy being. And that doesn't mean that you must find yourself doing crazy things and, you know, all sorts of stuff. But you want to just see yourself as that being that is in her femininity because again as much as i was saying earlier that you are you 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 must think like a woman you also must see yourself like one so you should not see an ugly person you shouldn't see a a an a, 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 a not capable person because maybe you stay at home every day because maybe um, you, your job doesn't, you know, give you this and that. You must see yourself as that feminine power. The feminine power is the one that can create. The feminine power is the one that can lay down the law. The feminine power is the one that can say, hey, this shall not happen. Because that's what we are about. We are about all of that. We are about telling people what to do and what not to do. So see yourself as that person. Because when you see yourself like that, when you start talking, when you start saying it, it will happen. So see yourself as that feminine energy. Understand what feminine energy is about. Feminine energy is about, not about talking too much and fighting. It's about just saying one word and people understand. So see yourself as that. So those are the three top things that I've seen uh, that I've done in my life that I've, I've, I've helped other women do in their lives. So practice those. They will definitely do a lot for you. And while you're doing that, you want to start to work on healing your feminine energy a lot of us need to heal our feminine energy because maybe you were abused earlier on in your life maybe you were abused throughout life maybe you had sex when you were not um wanting to have sex you were just doing it because hey i must do it because i'm married maybe you you know so many things that we've done to our feminine energy to to kill our feminine energy so you need to start that healing process for your feminine energy and that is what i do that is what i do with women helping them to get their feminine energy to come back to where it's supposed to be to heal it so that is something else that you want to do so that is also something we'll be doing at the workshop so you'll want to come through to the workshop for that other than that anytime you need help with this any type of this feminine talk and feminine energy and feminine healing make sure that you contact me um 
on busi at busiselesha.com and i have an instagram page busiselesha i normally post about workshops and stuff that i'm doing but you can also just book a coaching session with me i do healing sessions and i do coaching sessions so if you have a money coaching session that you need you can contact me if you need a healing session an energy healing session around your feminine energy please also do that contact me on that email other than that thank you so much for watching and click on the subscribe button because i'm gonna have a i'm gonna do a lot of other relationship talks around money because we need to heal this we need to heal this we cannot let marriages go to waste we cannot let the most amazing thing which is relationships and connection with connect team with a partner or a spouse go to waste just because of money no we should not do that so thank you so much for uh, tuning in and i'm going to load another video next week and we're going to be talking about something more um important again on this feminine energy so click on the subscribe button and watch for that video next week the following week we're talking about on a new moon and new moon rituals that you can do to use up your feminine energy and your masculine energy so thank you so much for watching click on the subscribe button and see you next time bye bye